Breaking overnight, the Chicago Teachers Union has approved a tentative deal to get CPS students back in classrooms. Glenn Marshall is live with the latest. Good morning, Glenn. Yeah, good morning. More than 20,000 teachers voted on this plan and it's now been certified by them. Now, students will return back to the classroom as early as tomorrow morning. Certifying votes just before 1230 this morning, Chicago Teachers Union agrees to have teachers return to the classroom this week. Among more than 25,000 teachers, over 13,000 voted in favor of the plan, while a little over 6,500 voted against it. That plan will have pre-K and cluster students and staff return to school tomorrow morning. Then kindergarten through fifth grade staff will return February 22nd. Those students will come back to classes March 1st. After that, sixth through eighth grade staff will return to the building on March 1st, with those students coming back on March 8th. Even with teachers voting in favor of the return to the classroom, CTU's president, Jesse Sharkey, still has problems with the agreement. In a statement, he wrote, Quote, this plan is not what any of us deserve, not us, not our students, not their families. The fact that CPS could not delay reopening a few short weeks to ramp up vaccinations and preparation in schools is a disgrace, end quote. Now, under that agreement, teachers who have family in the, inside their home who may have immune systems that may be medically compromised, they will have special accommodations made for them as well as vaccinations for all teachers. And in the meantime, CPS and CTU has not come together to have a discussion on whether they will bring back high school students back into the classroom. For now, we're going to send it back to you in the studio.